this is the part two of the Ham Pow Road Trip. In this one, I'm going to tell the hard-ass truth what really happened. This one, I'm going to cut it to the chase. In Ham Pow version, I'm going to straight cut the cheese. So, it all began. My fans that I visited, they emailed me and said, Hey, can we do a blog together? So I was like, I got work. So they sort of begged. So I was like, I manned up and we took a road trip. Okay. Then, when we got in the car and we were on the way to cookout and we picked up some of their friends, which you've seen in the other blog. So, I mean, they were like giggling and laughing to each other. And in Colombia, the firefighters were begging for money with their boots out. Like, I've never seen that before. Then they're like, look, it's a fire truck. So they're like giggling to each other back there. Me and Hudson looked at each other like, okay. So they seemed more fascinated with my emergency response videos. So it's like, oh, that's kind of odd. They like begged me for a blog. So then I came up to do a blog. So after we, we were on the way to cook out the restaurant, we were like, they were on the way there. They were like asking us, what do you like better? Police car, fire truck, or ambulance? And they asked, and we explained them why we do it. We do it for the Hilton Head Fire and Rescue because so they could show their kids that look, this is what daddy does. And look, there's daddy responding. They talked over us and they were like probably making fun of us because we do it. But I told them the reason what we did it, but they talked over it. Then we got to the restaurant. Like 16 more came and we, we were like happy, we seemed cool and we were like trying to convince them what kind of blog we, we, we were going to work on because this is what I came up here for and they were like talking to each other over us so um, they were like talking about retarded shit to each other, Not we were like excluded so I was like okay I don't want to be rude. I did some recordings that she's seen in the other blog that it was like alright they were like act cool. Then they were like talking about retarded things. Then I would like him up, tell them about the story, how when people call me retarded and shit for having been myself and having fun. Which I say, that's in the past. And the faux-tard, you know, like forward, faux-tard, instead of saying retard, they caught on to that. And they were like, they, I mean, that's a word they've learned from us. And um, then one of them knocked over my drink. And I pulled the camera and I said, look what they did to my drink. Then they said, like, you shitting me? You dumped your own drink. I was like, I didn't even touch my drink. Me and Hudson, we clean. We say we can't leave until we clean up the mess because this, this is not our house. So we pick up after ourselves. While we were like looking for a clean to clean it up, they disappeared. That the fucked up thing is that they disappeared. They didn't even come up to us and says we got class. To no, they're cowards. That is what my opinion about it. And we cleaned up the mess. We told the manager that. We need more napkins. We need. Do you have any paper towels? And the manager was like, "Oh, I appreciate you staying back and at least showing an attempt of cleaning up after yourself." So I was like, "Because it was my drink, and I was responsible for it. I was a gentleman." I mean, these girls were gone. Then when we were like cleaning up, I was like telling Hudson, "This is what we. This is what we came up for." And they did this. Like they did this to us. Like what the fuck, man? So we were like, maybe they're outside. So after we cleaned up, we walked outside. They were gone, nowhere to be seen. So I sat, me and Hudson sat by our car and we waited for a little bit. Then I texted one of them and says, hey guys, what happened? Where all you're at? We're gonna ride scooters, right? We're gonna make this blog on the scooters because we, we planned everything out for today. The then they texted, oh, sorry, we have class. That's a cover up. I ain't stupid. Yeah, they may think we are retarded and shit. The text message said, I'm sorry, we, ha we had to go home and get ready for class. Which I, I bullshit is that, yeah, sure. Then they say, how about y'all stay until 11 o'clock until we get out of class and we go to the bar. I mean, we told them we were not going to the bar. And they were like into drugs and stuff. So one more thing about the lunch. When we were at lunch, they were like talking about getting high and doing shit. I've done that in high school. They talked over us. So they didn't care about the advice. So the reason that I don't smoke is because it's illegal. But don't get offended, potheads that love me. I respect y'all. You do what? I mean, I'm just giving you advice. And I used to drink a lot. That's a beer belly. People tease me every day at work. 
because I have a beer belly because I look like I'm pregnant. So that's why I don't drink anymore. And they got mad about it. So they didn't want it to hurt our feelings, but they really did. They lied about it. And plus, and the real sketchy part is that after I said, where are you at? They had to get ready for class. I said, then I replied to them saying, where, what should we, what do we supposed to do in Columbia? They said, you, this is what the message said, message said, you and your brother could go ride the zap by yourselves, go cruising around Columbia all by yourself until we get off. I was like, I was upset. I did not want to reply. We came up here to make a blog and hang out with you. They made up the class. I know they made up because I texted them yesterday and this morning to make sure they're free and they say they were free all day. So, I mean, they were like trying to pull a fast one. To be honest with y'all, they think me and Hudson were not cool enough to be around. They got their meet and greet and they like, oh, that's Ham Pow. And plus, two of the girls are from Hilton Head and that's a real bitch move like you've seen in my other blog. There's a difference between girls and bitches. And they acted like bitches. And they're cowards. And the thing how I knew that this was just to get away from us is because if you really had class that day, you would tell us before we drive up there. And you would t text us, oh, we have class today, and we'll reschedule. No, they didn't even say that at all. And the other clue that I figured out was that they didn't say, it wasn't like, oh, I forgot I had class. Because it's okay to forget that, oh, I have class today. They are so cowardful that they didn't even come up to us. To say, look, Ham Pal, I'm sorry, I totally forgot to tell you this. I had class today and I totally forgot. I'll be, oh, it's cool. We'll reschedule. That's no problem. No, they didn't even say nothing. They all snuck away, faded away. Like, what kind of bitch move is that? Like, what, what, yeah, it was like a cover up, the text message. They're like, oh, I'm sorry. Oh, I'm sorry that we did this to you. No, you're not. They're not sorry. Because if they were, they would actually. Do something about it. And, but they all snuck away. It's just a cover-up. Oh, I know that game. Because people do that to me all the time. But not like on these trips. So, after I replied, after they were like, um, texting me. But they're really good at texting back. I was like, you know what, I'm done. I'm, I deleted their number right away. And said, I'm done with this. Hudson wanted to ride the Zap. So we were like, looking around for a Zap station. Those scooter stations. And we got lost. And this homeless man, I was like, we were walking in. He was behind us. He liked my hat. I was like, oh, thanks, bro. It was cool. He came up, I was like, I liked your hat. And then he came up to us and, and said, oh, I've just done eight years in prison. I was like, ooh, I'm not from here. Then I asked him, hey, do you know where the Zap stations are around town? He was like, yeah, sure. So he took us one place, then to another place. Then he asked us for money. For cash. I was like, what do you need the cash for? He said, oh, I need to get something to eat. So I was like, um, I don't have cash, but let's go to Chick-fil-A. There's Chick-fil-A right there. I could buy you dinner because I always love helping the community. I love Jesus. He was like, oh, there's an ATM at the gas station. I was like, I'm sorry, man. I can't do that. I'm willing to help you with dinner, right? He was like, he didn't respond to that. So I said, thank you for your directions because he had no idea where he what, what he was doing. So we walked away and for a couple of blocks, he was following us. I was like, hey, Hudson, are you sure you want to ride the scooters? Yeah, he was like, like, yeah, then I was at Hudson's, we were being followed. Then we were like walking around for a half hour. This homeless man was following us. And I had no idea if he was going to attack us or rob us. It was getting late. So we we've managed to find our car. And we got in our car and so we went we went home. We were like, Phew! no hard feelings for them. They're just cowards. They're, they were not real fans, I could tell you that. I really don't care. Because what I've said in my blogs, you like me, you like me. You don't, you don't. I wasn't that pissed off. I really wasn't. Because, I mean, it, take it for example. It was their day. Their meet and greet. It just like, for example, like, you know how I like Ariana Grande. I paid for meet and greet tickets. And it comes with a concert. If I went to the meet and greet, Hi, how you doing? I love your records. She says, thank you for listening to my records. Thank you for buying my records. I hope you enjoy the concert. 
over. Then I did not go to the concert and I went home right after the meet and greet. If someone went to an Ariana Grande concert, they just went to the meet and greet. They thought she was like, like retarded and stuff and they got in their cars and went home. Dude, you missed the concert. I don't want to see her perform. You just wasted your money. That is how I was like, <laughs> That's one day wasted. I was like, pitiful. So, after that, me and Hudson just laughed at it. And we were like laughing that, oh my gosh, if, if, I, if I had a YouTube celebrity that I really want to meet, and especially convinced the celebrity to come to Hilton Head to hang out, to make a, do whatever they're doing, for example, if like Roman Atwood, he's a famous prankster. If I begged him to come to Hilton Head, to pull pranks on people here on the island. And I came, and he came, and he came to pull pranks. We ate lunch, and we ditched him. Didn't tell him nothing. Then he texts us, yo, bro, where you're at? Oh, I had work. Then he'll look at us like, what the fuck's wrong with those twins? What the fuck is wrong with you? They're, they're cowards for just ditching. In reality, if I see Roman Atwood, and I begged him to come here to Hilton Head to pull pranks on people, yeah, I'll be with him all day and then we pull pranks on people afterwards it's be done oh and he needs to go back home well, it was a pleasure meeting you it was a pleasure having fun with you and if for example if it doesn't turn out how i want it to happen like for example this is an example if i didn't like if i thought roman at what was weird he come and say, hey hamilton how are you oh roman you're kind of weird i i'm gonna i'm not gonna just ditch him i'll just tell him hey man i appreciate you coming out what kind of pranks we're pulling and do what they want pull the pranks have a great time still then afterwards thank you for coming Whew, that was over I'm glad he had fun, I had fun, but he was kind of weird, that's cool. But the main picture, what I'm trying to get to y'all, is this is the real truth, what really happened yesterday. Those were fake fans, they really didn't like us, they thought we were weird, they thought we were retarded, and it's their loss, because I'm never ever going back to Colombia again, I promise you that. No more hand power road trips for a while, and once I say that I'm done with a particular fan, I'm done. I don't care if you watch me or not. If I offend any of y'all, I'm just saying the truth. Because this channel is all about doing the right things and funny things and emergency responses for the fire department here. Because they like our other half of our family. Like the police department here, Beaver County, they taught us well. They love us still. And the fire department loves us. So that's why we do it. So next week blog is about the things I like to eat and the things that I like to cook. This was just the part two. Thank you for watching. See you in the cooking blog next week.